Table Talk, where we discuss topics you guys send in using the hashtag Table Talk on Twitter or from the subreddit r slash sourcefed. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Philip DeFranco. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Let's do this. Let's do it. I'll go first. I'll go first. Okay. Um, Luis Alvarez at Squall Lewis 3 says, Thoughts on your coworkers becoming more of a family than actual relatives? Hashtag table talk. I certainly see them more than yeah. my actual relatives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. The only time I talk to my mom is when I get that, that guilt call. Oh. Um, which is really? bad. Which is bad, yeah. I'm a terrible son. But <laughs> don't say that. That's not true. I'm not a terrible son. I'm not a terrible son. Um, and then, yeah, I don't see my dad as much. So, I don't know. I guess there is kind of a family element. There's definitely, with you guys, you're in there fucking 10 hours a day. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. We're we're all essentially married to each other in a really yeah. weird and sexual Me and writer's Joe name. just had, like, a big brother, little sister argument, too. Mm. It was amazing. Over a league of their own. So, you know, it was really <laughs> important shit. Very serious. Very serious. No, I, that's, like, that's what we do in there. We are, like, right. we're all, like, brothers and sisters in there. That's a good reason to fight, though. Like, it's not, like, bad. <laughs> relationship fight. No. It's no. like, I've said she, I said skim milk. I said skim <laughs> milk. Seven years, she girl. Them all Seven on years. Purpose. Uh huh. Uh huh. That was this morning. No, I talk to my mom like every other day. Usually, mm-hmm. I'm pretty good about talking to my mom. Um, but I have a million relatives on both mm-hmm. sides of my family that I see maybe once a year. Like I see them at Christmas. So I would say the distance is the main factor. Sure. Like yes. we're all together in that room, and everyone I'm actually blood related to lives far, far, far away. I agree with Trisha because I'm also <laughs> I live far, far away, or my relatives do. But Trisha, uh, I spent Thanksgiving with Trisha, and she calls her relatives and talks to all of them. She's like they pass around the phone. Aunt Gerda! Hey! <laughs> I'm like texting my mom like, eh, happy turkey day, I'll yeah, call you later. I do it, I do it. It's like literally like, I'm like, oh, I just called my mom. I should probably call my dad too, knock this out. <laughs> knock this just out so I'm just getting the combo. I call, I talk to my mom when I drive home from work. So I get mm-hmm. like the call if I get home from work and I was like jamming out to music and she'll be like, you, did, you make, did you make home okay? You didn't call me. Mm-hmm. Oh. But I never talk to my dads, never. So, just my mom. I'm like, is everybody still alive? I text my dad. He texted me an image macro from the internet yesterday. What? I was so proud Your of Your dad it. is so much cooler than my dad. <laughs> I think an interesting question is, do you have, the people you work with, do you have more of those friends or, like, real-life friends that are unaffiliated with it? Well, I, I, the funny thing is, like, I would consider my friends who are not affiliated with DeFranco, mm-hmm. the, those friends are from DeviantArt. So, like, okay, they right. were work friends They're at yeah. one work friends. Yeah. Pretty much all I my friends all I like, worked with at some point. I guess it's like, like, like-minded people. Yeah. People that are, relate, like, into the same things. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. It makes Cosplay. sense. Uh, we have Coconut, otherwise known as Ashraf Asani, uh, who says, what's the first thing you you do right after you get out of bed? Mm. Um, phone. I look straight at my phone. It's when you bad. like when you wake up, you get out of bed go, and look at your phone. No, I go. Uh, oh, oh, that's right. Wait, out of no, bed. No, no, no. So like, we'll, we'll talk about what you do when you wake up, and okay. then maybe when you get out. Of bed. I, so first, uh, wake up phone. I look over, make sure that. Uh, <laughs> like you're getting the, in the, the zone. No, no. Like I, I look over and I make sure the dogs and Lindsay have not been murdered, and I have, <laughs> I have not been framed for that's that murder. The first and I go, check. Oh, I go, oh my god. And then I'm like, and then I'm not like, not covered in blood. Yeah. Okay. Good and morning. I check, I check emails twice a day, so I check it right when I wake up. So I'm like, is there anything that I messed up on? I do it when I go to sleep, okay. and then I just do the normal shower, whatever, mm. whatever. The normal I, get ready. Yeah. I definitely, when I wake up, Penny knows we snooze twice, and then she, because she sleeps at my feet, she knows on the third time the alarm goes off, she like creeps up, and then just like, she is lately, because I've been going to bed, she's also tired when we wake up, so she'll just like flop onto my chest and be like, Aww. it's time to go. Like, she's also, so I do my phone. You have I, like, a heavy ass dog. <laughs> it, what do you say about me? <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Uh, no, I check my phone, I do Twitter, mm-hmm. Facebook, and email, and then I get up and do the normal stuff. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's different if it's a work morning or a mm. non-work morning. If it's a non-work morning, I wake up and check my phone, and then maybe go in the kitchen and make an omelet. But if it's a work morning, I sleep till the last possible oh, second. Yeah. And then I just go over to my phone and turn my alarm off and, like, slink out of bed and kind of crawl over to the sink to brush my teeth and wash my face. Like, it's a it's a not fun morning. I, 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 know, I know I'm in the minority <laughs> here, but why? what's the snooze button really do? Oh, I can't like, oh, If you can get best, five hours. Like here's if, five, the if you're not rested at five hours, you're not going to be rested at I five know. hours and five minutes. <laughs> Good God. That nine minutes between the first alarm and the second, that's the best sleep. Because it's like, oh, I'm... 
like right back. It's just that it's just right that back. like it's that sleep that you know you shouldn't be having. Oh, but that's why it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's the like forbidden oh, sleep. I, I can't <laughs> enjoy snooze sleep anymore because I had a college roommate who snoozed all the time and like mm. she would get like so you're in a dorm, you're in a small area, and she would get up for her early class and literally snooze five times with her loud as crap alarm. Mm. And I was like, I don't need to wake up six times at seven o'clock in the morning. You do. But you, I needed you to You for sure weren't a crazy association. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Whatever. She was mad at me for brushing my teeth too loud because my electric toothbrush was too loud for her. So I guess I should have left without brushing my teeth. We only live together one I like um, that I like when you can tell Trisha snaps into bitch mode. <laughs> It happens sometimes. I try to be extra nice to like compensate for it. But every I like how you're preempting your yeah. bitch mode. Yeah, I know that I can get. But it's just such crazy, a so. it's such a switch that if like it, it's on the news in five years, like Trisha Hirschberger <laughs> murdered, blah blah blah, you'd be like, I could see it. Yes, maybe. yeah. No, no, no. There was Maybe. a. I remember there was a group in uh, on Facebook <laughs> when it first started from college. It was like, if I have to take one more final, the next time you guys see me, it's gonna be from a helicopter view on the news. <laughs> That's Trisha. We're gonna see you from helicopter Yay. view. That's awesome. I don't know. Very quickly, what's your alarm? What do you wake up to? Oh, mine is like nice, quiet jungle sounds that start quiet and slowly get louder. Oh, it's like. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. Like nice little, like you're in the like. Oh, you know, maybe it's like, it's like <laughs> tinkling rain in <laughs> the leaves and stuff like really? that. Yeah. I will sleep right through that shit. Mine's what is uh, the the flute music that Alan or Ali in the Sailor Moon universe plays to wake up demons. That's how he like summons <laughs> demons. That so you're sense. a demon, is what you're saying. Hell, have you met me? Are we <laughs> ever met? Here we go. Ah, I'm a card. I love it. Go for it. What's yours? Oh, mine, mine. I just. Oh wait, it's. Ugh. I got so confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's your snooze or your I alarm? I don't. I don't have an alarm. I uh, I wake up at the same time every day. That's so. That's how did I can you never trust you just, myself? Just think to yourself. Just well, maybe not people that I, well, I never had an alarm growing up. So I just I'd go. Okay, I need to wake up at six, and I'd wake up at like five. What? Oh my god! If that was my life, I didn't have an alarm. Actually, last night my phone was at like thirty percent, and I was like, please don't die before my alarm. So I woke up like twice to be like, oh, it's four a.m. That's what I do okay. when I freak out that I'll okay. overstay. As long as I haven't <laughs> taken like an aid to go to sleep, I'm good. Good. Or you just drink a whole big thing of water before you go to bed, so you know you'll have to pee at I so many hours. I can't do that anymore because, like, as of like when I turn twenty six, I always end up peeing at like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I know. That happens. It's like no. that and PKD, and I'm like, damn it. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> at Courtney Selick says, if you could erase one word from the English language, language, what would it be? Ooh. For you guys, wouldn't it be moist? Is oh it? no, one hundred percent moist. That's it's the it worst word ever. I'll never say it again. I would, I would have to choose the P word. What is the P, P word? word? You have I to don't say like it. that word. You have to say it, otherwise Nobody you can't knows. remove it. There's a lot of P words. Because people wanna... be like, people want to say. I don't want to say it because it's gross. Can you say um, it? Um, the uh, and then other name for female genitalia. That's also another name for a cat. What if you said it in a manly voice? You're being a huge voice. pussy, not saying. <laughs> it right now. Say it. Say it once in a manly voice. I don't. Pussy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I I know I've heard you say that word in conversation. I don't like that word though. It's gross to me. Wait, pussy is worse than cunt to you? Because mm. I feel like cunt is like Slightly. like like a, a more mm. hardcore version. I actually, of that. I'll be honest. I'm a complete baby about any name for female genitalia that's not like a silly name. I don't. Know but that's not even a word for. Like I don't like the v word. I don't like the p word. I don't like the c word. What did you call it? We had this conversation the other day. What do you call it? Oh, when I was little, it was yeah. the coolie. Which is oh, funny yeah. because that's like the UK word for butt, right? I, I know culo is like ass. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Not of, in UK. But yeah. Uh, no, or like neener, or I don't know, whatever you want to make up for it is great. As a kid, <laughs> wait, this is a great question. What did you call your genitalia when you were a kid? I called it my foofy. I don't so, know where that came from. So there's no I think foofy is appropriate. Foofy. A very foofy. nice, <laughs> delicate. Here's the deal. You can't use that word with a grown woman. No, you no, you can't. I'm asking as a child yeah, what I like that got. foofy. Oh, like you, can't, no. you can't use that word. Oh, oh my God, three-year-old me was like, like it's a See, nice little fun. kid word. But, We're okay. talking about little kid words. So, so dirty talk. Dirty talk, do you call it anything different? I'm yeah, sorry. you got it. If someone got it a foofy and dirty <laughs> talk, I might die. Oh, <laughs> well, no. What if they called it your neener? Yeah, go uh, give me that neener. No. Oh, that neener is so tight. <laughs> Wait, what did you call it when you were little? Oh my god. Let's see. No, I meant you're like, what did you call it? What did you, you call like your thing? I don't think I ever what referenced you, it. You never talked no, about it. I think it. the first time like I referenced it. Like a dingling, like your, I don't know. What did you call it as a kid? I don't think I called it anything. It was just. <laughs> he who shall not be named yes. in my family. <laughs> 
So you don't call it anything. It never comes Wait, up. yeah, in Dirty Talk, you, you can't use neener or foofy. No, you can't use neener or foofy. You're I using a word you would like to erase, I think. I don't think I use the word. Other people use the word, and then their verbiage is up to them. But oh. does it bother you? zone at that point. Like, okay. I'm distracted uh, enough uh, that I don't distracted. care. Distracted. That's, that's how I, I talk about sex. Uh, yeah. <laughs> distracted. I like to be distracted enough that I, I just I was thinking about some stuff, me. and then I was like, what was I thinking about? I, kn I know Trisha's very list-oriented, so I wonder if you're the target. <laughs> like, no, I, okay, no, I no I'm not. I, 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 get, I focus when it's time to focus. <laughs> She's like, I am in the zone. Okay. Um, you want to stretch it out. Stretch it out. Else. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I I, can, I don't really have I don't have I don't have any single word. That's the, I would say I would remove just any any fifty dollar word that we randomly hear in the writers' room from anyone <laughs> that wants to like sound smart. It oh. annoys me. Oh, okay. Big, big words annoy me. It's a very stupid thing about me. Like when when you say some when you use a fifty dollar word when like a ten cent one will work, mm. it pisses me off. Oh, I see. Okay. Because it just feels like showy. I'm trying I'm trying to think of a word in particular that you would. That oh, do not hurt yourself. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not the one. I'm not the one who uses the fifty dollar words. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. All right, this one's from Reddit. Emma Rosu <gasps> says Emma Stone versus Emma Watson versus Jennifer Lawrence. Who would win? Jennifer why? Lawrence. Why would they fight? No. Why? What? Be, no. Wait a second. Would they be pillow? What fighting? if it's a sexy fight? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Ooh, this is no, the though. best thing in the his, world. Ah, his Neener is ready right now. My, <laughs> my Neener? <laughs> no, Neener was for girls. We got boys li peeps. His Their peeps? peeps? His little peep is excited. What? I'm trying to think of what my brother Never say that. That's a way Ever. <laughs> you say that to a grown man, he almost has to show himself <laughs> to defend himself. Oh. Present. <laughs> Sorry. You gonna like, call that a pee, baby? <laughs> Show you that pee? Well, we did also laugh about that. One second, just give it a second. We did also <laughs> laugh about that in my eyes. <laughs> Don't embarrass me, kid! <laughs> kid names, kid All names. Right, so who do you think is the most attractive out of these three? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer oh, Lawrence over here. No, Emma Watson. Emma Watson. Really? You know what? Yeah, because I'm, I'm definitely a, between those two. She has a little boy body. She's beautiful, but she has a you know boy what? body compared to Jennifer Lawrence. No, I'm going to go with uh, yeah. Jennifer Lawrence just because I find her personality sexier. Yeah. I feel okay. like I feel like I could shoot the shit with Jennifer Lawrence and then do messed up stuff, even though I'm ugly. And She'll be in, in the woods. In this scenario, you don't, you she's don't think that about her. Emma Stone? Uh, Emma Stone seems like she'd she's be an goofy. awesome time. Yeah, I feel like she'd I, be I down for whatever. I definitely find Jennifer Lawrence more attractive. Okay. Um, and then Emma Watson is awesome, but in like a, a pretty girl unattainable sort of way. Yeah, I agree. Mm. I think Emma Stone okay. is like goofy and funny, but I feel like she's one of those girls who really wouldn't be down. You know what I mean? <laughs> like she seems like she'd be down, but then she's like, ah, oh, she's like Jennifer a trickster. Lawrence. Plus, yeah, Jennifer Lawrence seems like she'd be down. Yeah, Emma Stone's also touched <laughs> Ryan Gosling's body. So well. I'm, I'm just nothing there. I'm nothing. Aw, <laughs> don't say that. Not everyone's into Gosling, believe it or not. Everyone's into Gosling. I'm no. into Gosling. No. Everyone's I'd into high Gosling. five that dude all the time. You'd high five his peep? <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for Table Talk. I don't oh, know. no. I don't know why yours is like a. You said Dinker. No. That's his word. He said, why no, are we slapping Dinker? It is. Fuck you, Lee. He said Dinker. Fuck you, Lee. <laughs> That is 100% Jingo and Dinker are Lee's words. <laughs> and that's it for Table Talk. What do you guys call? Let us what know in the words? comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to see all of our other videos and newsy bloggy stuff. I'm Trisha Hirschberg. I'm Philip DeFranco. I'm Meg Turney. Neener. Dinker. You said so Dinker. So have you ever gone out with a guy who was just like, yeah, this big dick. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Don't make that face, because I know you've had That's that why I'm making that face. Was it the same guy? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. We'll compare notes after class. Oh, uh, spring break was crazy, right? Got it.